Oh yeah, we got them in. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to check these sneakers out. And I have been waiting for the longest time to finally get these sneakers in hand and we got them in and we're gonna be taking a look at them. Of course, as you saw, I got a couple other boxes that I wanted to show you guys as well. Some really interesting stuff and then one of them that I have literally no idea what it is, but uh, we'll, we'll find out together. All right, so first one I wanted to talk about is this pair right here. I've already unboxed it. I actually unboxed it on Instagram a couple days ago, but I thought, listen, these things are so cool, I have to show you guys. So as you can see, regular New Balance box. Swing open the lid. Here they are. This is the New Balance 2002 R Gore-Tex. I mean, just look at them. These things are insanely cool. I literally had no idea that this was even a sneaker that existed. Then I randomly got an email from New Balance saying that these just dropped. When I got them in hand, I was like, this is one of the coolest pairs of New Balance sneakers that I've had since like the protection pack. In fact, these are pretty damn similar to the protection pack in terms of like all of the distressing that's going on. Like, no, it doesn't have the raw cut edges, but it's got that same kind of worn down look on the midsole. So you can see there's like paint all over it. Same thing with the upper. It's kind of faded, painted over in different spots. It's just so much attention to detail. And when you feel these things in hand, they feel solid. I actually have no idea how they made these things like weather or waterproof. Like surely this suede is going to get completely ruined. I don't know. Apparently they are weather sealed. Right. This next package, I I genuinely have no idea what it is, but it's addressed to me and it's a slightly look-alike sneaker box. So I thought it would be fun just to find out with you guys. It looks like it's a pair of shoes. I can't see what it is yet. Thankfully, it's a pair of shoes. Okay, this is... Oh no, they were supposed to send me these ages ago. All right, let's just unbox these things first, take a look, and then I'll tell you guys the story. So let's see. Oh my God. What in the world? This is the Keto Wears uh, Fossil X, I believe these things are called. Wow, they are insanely heavy, a lot heavier than I, well, a lot heavier than they look. Essentially, Keto Wears, they, they messaged me on Instagram and they said, yo, we would love to send you our latest creation. And I was like, hell yeah, I would love for you guys to send them to me. Then I just didn't hear anything. So I assumed, I don't know, they just never sent it. Now they turn up, which is weeks after the release. Man, these are are probably the craziest shoes I have ever felt. Some kind of skull looking design, which is really interesting. Maybe it's got some foam runner vibes in it, like especially this upper portion with this kind of shape. They're insanely heavy, like they feel heavier than a sneaker, which is pretty crazy. They also feel very soft on the midsole area. Like it's a, generally speaking, quite a soft midsole piece. I gotta try these things on. Like what the hell does this feel like on foot? Surprisingly, very comfortable. You can see I got them on now. They feel actually pretty good. They stay on your foot as well. Wow, these things are pretty wavy. <laughs> I kind of like them, I'm not gonna lie. Weird, crazy branding on the outsole as well. Now I don't actually know the details on the release or anything like that. I think these did release, but any information information about these that I can find. I will leave it in the description. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think of these, but we've got some more sneakers to get into, so let's do it. Today's video is sponsored by Harry's. Shaving is a very important step in men's grooming, but for the longest, guys have had to choose between quality or good value. Well, with Harry's, you finally get both. I've been using their shaving kit for a while now, and I cannot recommend them enough. Harry's has made my entire shaving process extremely convenient and easy. All you do is choose a kit that you want, and it's delivered to your door. You can also subscribe, build your plan, and get refills every few months, depending on how often you shave. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to shave and found my razors are dull or missing. Their blades are made in Harry's own century-old German factory where they are meticulous about the quality. Harry's aims to make quality razors at a fair price and that's why their blades cost as little as $2.12 for an 8-pack. Now because I've partnered with them, you can use the link in my description to get a starter set worth $13 for only $3. That's everything you need for an epic shave for only $3. Click the link in my description to get that starter pack and thank Thanks again, Harry's, for sponsoring today's video. So this is a pair that actually drops today. 
um, but you guys won't see this video until the day after. So yeah, technically yesterday for you guys. Very interested to check these things out. We got a pair of Yeezys. Here we go. So this is the brand new pair of Yeezy slides. So here it is. This is the flax colorway looking pretty decent actually. I don't know what it was about like the pictures we saw as the like the early images a couple weeks back, but these definitely look a lot more darker in hand. It's a very, very deep brown. I'm not entirely sure what other colorway these look like from my memory. Maybe the soot colorway looks pretty similar or the core earth brown. I don't know, one of those three. Might as well, while we're here, just check out the sizing, make sure that they fit. Okay, yeah, so they're definitely snug. Um, I'm not entirely sure just off of like my memory whether they're any different to the other ones. I'd have to do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Um, but they do feel snug. I don't think that they're too bad. Like they kind of fit me like my heel is right on the edge. Maybe over time they would stretch out like my ochres have definitely stretched out over time. So I would be fine because I got my true to size. But I think to be on the safe side, if you have wider feet, definitely just go a size up on this pair of slides if it's not too late by the time you see this. It's so confusing because like this is the only Adidas sneaker that has the same UK and US sizes. The main people who are gonna struggle with sizing are people who shop in US sizes because traditionally a UK 8 is a US 8.5 whereas on these a UK 8 is a US 8. So I think the easiest thing to do is check the EU size. The EU size or the designer shoe size that is one you can always reference um, in cross-reference with your current like true to size. Either way let me know what you think of the Flax Yeezy slide. Let me know if you got a pair because you're only going to see this after the release so yeah let me know if you got a pair of the Yeezy slide in the flax colorway and what you think of these. Last one we're going to be taking a look at today and the seller used freaking masking tape already open. God. All right, so this is the big one guys. This is the one I have been waiting for. I don't think I've ever seen these in hand. The one that got away. So yeah, I did take an L on these things for retail. I had to pay resale, but I wanted these sneakers so bad and I've kind of always wanted them. Finally got them in. This is a Yeezy 700. Oh man, this is the Ventas. I don't know, like it's not the biggest, the craziest pair of shoes, but I freaking love this colorway. It's all over blacked out and it's just different to the other 700 V2s. Like this is all over suede. This looks absolutely mean on foot, especially when you beat them down a little bit, they get a little bit nappy, but yeah, this is the first time they restocked since 2019. It's a pair of V2s that I've wanted for a while, but just never picked up because of the freaking price tag. Well, thankfully now that they restocked, the price price tag has gone down significantly. The Donda 700s, what a clean pair of shoes. This suede goes really well with the 700 V2. Even this main material is kind of like a fabric. I think on the normal one, it's a mesh. I don't know why there's that variation between 700 V2 and like this one has completely different material. Let me know if you managed to pick up a pair of these things because they are dope. Let me know down in the comment section what your latest pickups are. And thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another one. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then.